Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Petafilos of Videos. Today we are going to talk about traffic in city skylines. Now this is a subject that is pretty comprehensive and has a lot of nook and crannies that you have to look through before you can actually understand it. This is why these videos are going to take a while to do and I want to be thorough and explain a lot of these uh, things that are connected to traffic and which make traffic worse or better. And so I'm going to make the, just this introductory video that is going to help you understand the problems that the traffic creates and how to get around these problems and understand where these problems are coming from. Now, this is a city that I made to test some of the more important aspects of traffic and you can use the traffic manager to make your life easier but I'm going to try to show you just how you play without the traffic manager and then how the traffic manager can improve your life. Now if we go over to the transportation map and the traffic map you can see the problem in the city has already been created by having too many of these buildings closely knit together. They aren't all uh, high density you can see that this is mostly low density with some of high density but the problem the main problem here is the traffic from delivery trucks and trucks delivering products to factories that are producing goods and the other factories that are other specializations. Here I have all the specializations. I have agriculture, genetic, then I have forestry, ore and oil. So uh, this means that I have all the industries here and they all import something and most of them also export something. So you can see that I have 1000 imports and 1000 exports. So this is where the most of the heavy traffic comes from. But not only this, I have a lot of traffic that is actually not uh, related to these buildings at all. And this is because I have connected my city with two independent highways. This highway goes along this area of the map, while this one goes over here. And uh, there is something that is called regional traffic and regional traffic actually uses the highway connection between two highways and especially if it's through your city to just traffic through your city. And you can find these trucks because they do not have an owner that you can click on. It says here Portsburg, meaning that if we follow this truck and I made a special line through my city, a tunnel that uh, lets this traffic just go through my city without entering my main streets. You can watch how it's going to use this tunnel. It's going to go below the city. It entered on one highway and it's now straight on its way to the second highway to exit my city, which means that this traffic is just extra traffic making things worse for my city while not contributing anything to my city. This is just one of the types of traffic that you have to think about when you're designing your city. Now, as we go back to the traffic inside the city itself, you can see all these streets are clogged up and this is clogged up with the despawning that is allowed in the base game uh, because despawning uh, is the only thing that can actually make traffic work when you have such a bigger problem here and you can watch this happen when for example we choose this box truck that is owned by the Frank's Fine Fish Sticks factory and is delivering goods to the organic food market. The organic food market is all the way here while the factory is here and uh, this truck is supposed to get there but you can see just how much traffic there is between this truck and its destination. So if we were actually to keep watching this truck and sped up the time, if this truck cannot find a route to get to organic food market, it is just going to despawn and teleport over there. Uh, this is something that the developers have put in because they saw themselves that the traffic was simply too much for the game to handle and the way that they made the game uh, simply wasn't applicable for this much uh, traffic because the buildings simply spawn too much traffic for the game itself to be able to get that traffic somewhere where it needs to go. And we saw this uh, truck actually making its run and managing to get here so it didn't despawn. But the other trucks that are stuck in traffic will despawn. But if we were to turn off despawning using the traffic manager, now that uh, despawning is off, these streets might be actually moving a little bit and as you saw a truck managed to get uh, there but with the spawning off you're going to see that the traffic flow is going to get worse and worse. With the traffic flow getting worse and worse and the spawning no longer being an option you can see my average traffic flow going down uh, it was at about 53 or something percentage now it's down to 47 and it's going to keep getting worse 
and not only will the traffic itself keep getting worse, but you will soon see more of these pop-ups saying that uh, these buildings aren't able to get their services. For example, dead persons are abating transport for too long, garbage will pile up because a civil city vehicles that do city services aren't able to get through this traffic because the traffic no longer despawns. And you can see now effectively average traffic flow is going down, 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 further, further, further down because a despawning has been disabled and these uh, vehicles can no longer just teleport to where they want to go. And you can see just how horrible this is on a small scale city. Now you are probably thinking, okay, but this is just 20,000 population, a lot of zones here, a lot of delivery trucks, a lot of teams moving around. But what would happen if I were to make a huge city? Would this problem be even bigger and would I even be able to play? Well, the answer is actually that you would be having an easier time to play on a large city. Let me show you why. Welcome to Bedrock. As you know, Bedrock is the city in which I'm trying to reach 1 million population on the hard mode. You can watch this let's play. It started a few years ago, but I kept doing it. And, and now I'm back and trying to get to 1 million population. And currently the hard mode is off, so you might see some wonky figures here, but I'm just using this to show you the traffic. Don't mind the numbers here. So basically the point when you have a huge city like this is that the traffic is actually limited by the in-game limits and you can see the vehicles active is maxed out at 16,000 and I'm currently at that limit which means that the game simply cannot spawn any additional vehicles and with a huge city like this you can now see that the average traffic flow is 83% and this is with despawning on. Now let's watch what happens in this huge city when I disable despawning. Let's see just how uh, far is the average traffic flow going to go down. Remember in the previous city it was around 60% and we went down to I think below 30% after turning off despawning of vehicles. In this city I cannot run at speed 3 because the game uh, simulation simply slows down too much when you have a huge city. So I am not able to show you this faster but I will jump to you in the video so you don't have to wait too long to just see the effect. Uh, the highest amounts of traffic are about here on this highway and the connection from the region that's coming in from there. And also this highway here, where you can see all these trucks coming in on the middle lane. Now, this is something that I will talk about in one of my next videos about how the vehicles use the lanes and just how you can fix this and improve because uh, the base way of how they use the lanes is horrible and really creates a lot of problems. As you can see, my average traffic flow is still about 83%, 82% now, but as I have disabled this morning, the things should be getting worse, right? As we saw in the previous city. The trick is that some of the commercial buildings might say that they don't have enough customers if they cannot teleport in their cars or some buildings might say that they cannot sell their goods or cannot receive goods because teleportation is no longer on but the traffic flow simply won't change too much. There are not enough vehicles to create a large traffic flow because they are limited by the game's limits which means that once your city reaches a huge size like mine has grown to you simply outgrow the traffic problem. I simply have so many streets, I'm paying a huge amount for these streets. You can see that I'm paying 78,000 for the roads and it might be higher on the hard mode, I'm not completely sure. But in any event, I'm paying a huge amount for roads and most of these roads aren't even used because there's simply not enough vehicles in the game that the game engine can handle to fill all these streets. So the game simply has to run on the vehicles that it has and just fudge the numbers on the rest of it. The point that I'm making here is that you don't have a lot of traffic when you have a small city, a really small city, a few thousand people. But as you reach 10, 15, 20, 30, 50,000 people, you're going to reach that huge traffic jam that you just saw in my, of my previous cities. Now, of course, there are different designs that are going to help you avoid problems like I showed you uh, previously because that was just one of my test cities which was purposely made to have uh, traffic problems so I could study them and uh, these designs are something that I'm going to show you in one of my next videos talking about traffic and how to fix the problems and where the problems come from but as I was trying to say even if you do have those problems once your city hits those huge numbers you simply start hitting some limits that actually stop the traffic from creating such problems and you can see I keep running the city and the average traffic flow is now only down to 81% and this won't go much further down now some of these streets might have a problem and the traffic might slow down but it won't stop there is just so many lanes here and so many ways for the vehicles to go through this city 
that you simply cannot jam up the city, like you can jam up a smaller city. An additional two things that actually make up a lot of traffic in a city are the city services and the teams themselves. Some of those things you can obviate, for example, if you create lines for buses or metro stations or train stations, you can help the teams move around the city without taking out their pocket cars. If you didn't know, in city skylines, teams simply uh, take out their car out of their pocket, put it on the street and drive, and when they finish driving, they just put it back in their pocket. That's, that's how the game works. And as for the city services, you can't really do much about them except just spread them around. If we take a look at my garbage processing status, you can see the placement of my incineration plants that they are on these corners and have a good coverage around the city, but they are not in the middle of these streets. They are on the edges so that the traffic which doesn't use those edges won't interfere with those city services. Same goes uh, with health care and death care. You have to incorporate them into your zones. And you can see here just how this city was designed with a layered approach where you have residential areas sandwiched between offices so that they wouldn't give them any noise pollution. Then you have the commercial buildings where the teams goes to shop. And these commercial buildings are right next to these factories creating goods for them. So when a delivery truck delivers products to this generic processing plant, it creates a good that just goes across the street or next door to deliver the goods so that the delivery truck doesn't have to travel through the city. If a team wants to work, he just needs to go left or right and he can find work. If he wants to buy, he can then again just go left or right and buy stuff. This also makes sure that pollution doesn't interfere with residential zones, nor does, like I said, the noise pollution. And this is the type of design that I talked about that could reduce traffic in your city, but it isn't the only design. There are main designs that will reduce the traffic problem. And as I bring this video to a close, I am just going to leave you with this review. While I just want to point out that the traffic is a very complex subject which requires a lot of managing and you can use the traffic manager which i will show you in one of my next videos about traffic but you can also just use the base game without any dlc without any mods and have good traffic flow if you just take into account all the specific ways that the traffic can give you problems that i talked about in this video and that i will talk about in the next videos thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more videos